Ladies and gentlemen, leo tumerudi na leo atuja kuja na the normal videos that you've been seeing. Of course we have been doing reviews here and there, but this time we are switching it a little bit to a uh, talk. And today what are we talking about? We want to discuss which vehicles mm -hmm. hmm, yep. have sold the best in the year 2023. Yeah. And after we speak about which ones have sold the best in the Kenyan market, we will also go ahead to look at uh, which ones have we'll, we are expecting to see an upward trajectory in the 2024 X Japan market. Yep. Karibuni sana. I'm your host, Safini Asmerigi. And I'm Victor Imani. Mm. Leo, I'm 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 here. I'm talking about trailers. Sasa I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Yeah, been, ule, ule driver, ule, 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 driver. Yeah, you've been graduating driver to uh, the other video uli, uli nyonga mtu. Kaka kwa boot. Yeah. Leo unaongea. Yeah, hey bro, yeah, life life ni stack yes, huh? Anyway, what's that? So I I just want us to look at which cars have sold really well yeah. this year. And uh the first car I'll begin with, the very first one, the Mazda CX-5. Mhm. Mm Yo gari si meuza. Meuza. Si ni mingi. Eh tumeuza ngapi? Eh tumeuza mingi. Hata sasa hii pipeline iko na mingi eh. We have no we, are, we actually yeah. have quite a number of cars on ship. Oh yeah. Is this CX5? Uh -huh. The CX5 has been selling crazy good in the year 2023 and for one major reason. Mazda has figured out their design language yeah. very well. Yeah. The the Kodo design is doing pretty some good stuff. True. The interior, they are doing a good job, especially the 2017, 2017. version upwards. Yeah. 2016 is fairly okay, yeah. but 2017, hey, our like it's, it's a big, it's a big step up. It's a big step up. Yeah. In for ten months, pali na kabi BMW ni nini? Yeah, the swivel wheel up ya cooperate. Boze sound. Hey, hatari, hatari. Na leather. Ni pesi, ama smooth, smooth like sailing yaze. <laughs> like in a Jafika ile lap napa napa, napa leather yeah, as, a, as a German, but they're doing a good job. Man. Good CX5 job. justifiably they are up there. Yeah, I think I think at the, at the moment they're the best designed Japanese cars. Correct. Mazda, all Mazdas from we will... CX5, CX9, mm -hmm. Atenza, mm -hmm. Zogari and Lembo. We are soon moving from the car in front of you is always a Toyota. Yeah. Mazda is a bit playing Toyota on that. Eh? Yeah, it might just be a Mazda Manze. for next year. Manze. Yeah. Uh-huh. Next uh, one. The Q5. The Audi Q5. A. What's it? Taka is selling. It's selling. It's selling. Uh, people falling in love with German cars more. And it's a thing I'm loving to see guys mm. falling in love with German cars. German. Mm. Yeah, I think for the price point uh, that Audi Q5 retails at, I think it's value for money. So uh, much. Considering the performance that Audi gives. Mm -hmm. Um the practicality mm -hmm. uh comfort mm -hmm. uh build quality mm -hmm. the looks it's it's an audi man safety. it's safety Crazy. yeah it's it's a pride to be driving the four rings yeah so the q5 has been the four rings that are being selling most i even presume now that we've sold uh more rings audi rings than wedding rings <laughs> this year <laughs> so, so who's where all these moves about now who is who is in the business of selling okay wedding rings bro. jewelry shops sure, eh? okay okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> anyway the Q5 is a legit legit car sold yeah. very well mm. and uh, right after talking about Mazda and how the car in front of you will be replaced by Mazda <laughs> tunarudi home Toyota yeah. bro Prado yeah Prado all time good seller yeah uh, whichever year we will pick even 2013 it sold really well it sold really well yeah so the Prado has been selling well yeah. for obvious reasons the off-road capability, uh, of course, we also have more politicians nowadays with yeah, the new constitution. Yeah. yeah. So we have more politicians, eh? Yeah. So we have more Prados on the more road. Prados on the road, general politician. <laughs> MCA, Kona, Prado. MC, uh, MC, MCA. Yeah. Alone, bro. By the way, yeah. MCA is Kona Do. Why Kona Do? Kona Pesa. So yeah, yeah. Prado has been selling really well. Prados are selling crazy yeah, good. In yeah. And, and, and guys are actually buying the latest Prados nowadays. The new shape Prados. Have you, have you, Shida and me, what we have on a facelift. So you yeah, put na, right. na, na the new shape, you think it's actually new the shape. one until you get inside get and inside see the, like, oh, yeah. that interior, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not the, yeah. it's not the new the new shape. But anyway, Prado doing an excellent job. Yeah. It selling will, very well. Yeah, it will continue selling well. Yeah. Watch an W212. Take it off. The 
W212, uh, the E class 250, yeah, mm -hmm. has sold very well yeah. this year. And the main reason it has sold well, it's of course everyone that wants an E class mm -hmm. uh, was scared of uh, paying more yeah. with the W213 models yeah. that are retailing in the neighborhood of 6.2, 6.3 yeah, million. Right. Eh? Mm. So now people have been rushing. It's been sort of a gold rush yeah. for the W212 because it's 2 million shillings cheaper. Yeah. It's 4.4 million. Yeah. So everyone has been trying to get a piece of the E-Class yeah. before it runs out. It's yeah. being first off. So that car has sold very, very well this year. Yeah, I think when you get into... Well, if you see a W213 and get into a W213, you can easily tell where the 2 million difference comes in. Correct. Yeah. Correct. They've um, done... The, the the is, it's... Plush. It's, it's next to an S-Class. It's very close. It's next to an S. It's actually very close. Yeah. The 14 inch yeah, screen, 14 inch, yeah. the leather they have used, the um, sunroof, ambient the ambient lighting. Yeah. It's, uh, that car is very well done. It's well done. Mm. It's well done. And and if you, if you get yourself one with air suspension, man, you you have just hit the sweet spot. True. Yeah. It's very good. It's a good car. Yeah. Yeah. But sadly, RIP. Next year, no more W. Uh, coming in. Imesha. Yeah. So if you want a new class, just come. We we'll bring you the W213. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, well, to me, it's prettier. According to Victor, the 212 is prettier. Me, I, me, I love the 213 designs. <laughs> the new Mercedes Benz design is uh, amazing. It, it, it's amazing up to uh, up to the point where Mercedes decided to go electric. Uh, those uh, are the EQSs and yeah, the EQCs. Because, Watch out, it's all good. It was young in 20... 20 <laughs> It was young in 20? It was around 2029. I don't think it's weird. But I'm talking to Why not? Yeah, we, we bringing will bring. We'll bring. Easy. EQ, it's all good. It's all good. Like in this, I'll tell you, hey, if you want one, we will. Of course we will. Yeah. Yeah. Well, which, which one, which other one sold? Well? I think one car that has sold well mm -hmm. uh, is the Audi A3 sedan. Correct. Yeah, these cars have barely been in showrooms for two weeks. Kabla Zikwa Zimeanda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a demand for um, the A3 sedan mm. for the reason that you're so close to an A4. I mean, somebody with an untrained eye uh, or an Can't Audi tell. wouldn't really tell whether you're in an A4 or an A5. I've given an A3 and someone asked me, is that an A6? I was like, bro, bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah that, that's the trick. The A3 is, um, has that trick where you don't know, is it an A4? Yeah. For the very amateurs in, in the yeah, car, in the car, you know, it's a car near 6 p.m. Yeah. So, um, let's, let's talk real numbers. You see yeah. the, the rear seat legroom mm -hmm. on the A3 sedan and on the A4 sedan, mm -hmm. those two cars have the exact same legroom. Yeah, it's yeah, well, they, they have, they're inside. basically the same car. The trunk space is good, good enough mm. on both. I mean, so it's much value for money because you get the Idris sedan at, in the regions of two point two going to two point six, depending if you're getting an S line or a normal trim. Yeah. Uh, the A four is retailing in the regions of three point two to three point six. Yeah. Three. Okay. Three point four. Yeah. To three point four. So that's a whole million mm -hmm. shilling difference. Yeah. Explaining why people have been buying this car. Yeah. You only got a fifty. It's a well done car. It's a well done car. Yeah. It's a well done car. Congratulations if you got one this year. Congratulations. Wale watu wote wamekuja nikaonyesha. Nyinyi yeah. wase wangu. Mlifanya yeah. poa, mlifanya poa. Good mm. car. Moving on to 2024. Yeah. Which cars are we projecting to see um sell crazy? Mm -hmm. And the first one for me is the obvious one we just spoke earlier. Yeah. The CX5. Mm -hmm. Higari mtayona mpaka mfraye. Yeah, mpaka mwisho. Uh, this car, the design, the Kodo design language, as we said earlier, yeah. excellently done. Watch and see the next one. Yeah, uh, we, let's talk about the Volkswagen Atheon. Mm -hmm. uh, the Volkswagen Atheon uh, replaced the Volkswagen Passat CC. CC, correct. Yeah, and according to me, it's the most beautiful Volkswagen you'd buy. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's my opinion. Arguably. Arguably. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think to me... It has a good design language. Mm. Uh, if you look at the side profile yeah. towards the end, to me it looks kind of uh, Bentley Continental GT because uh, of how it has masculine wheel arches. Yeah, I think it's a car people should pay attention to 
uh, yeah. considering it also it's it's a 2.0 liter engine mm. uh, 285 horsepower in a Chesa Ranger Golf R. So technically it's just a Golf R mm. uh, with more weight. Mm. So it should be handling pretty well. Mm. Yeah, so it's a car we should check out next year. Correct, mm-hmm. correct. Ation, Ation will get very popular. Of course, if you, have, uh, you want to buy a Passat yeah. and you can stretch an extra like 1M, mm-hmm. um, you will, you will, you will, um, you will get very good value for money if you go for the Ation. For the Ation. So I agree, good yeah. car. There is a series of cars you guys need to pay attention to this coming year. Mm-hmm. The Audi B9, B9 series. Yeah. B9 series is basically the new shape, a three, new shape, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, and the new shape Q5. Mm-hmm. Of course, Q7, Q3, all of them. Yeah. But specifically, look at that sedan lineup and the Q5. Q5. Yeah. Bro, is on Magari ni Rambo. They have such a beautiful interior. Yeah. Audi's interior had started to grow old. Eh? Yeah. Especially on the A5s, yeah. the Q5s. Q5, yeah. you, you can tell, well, the competition is doing more than what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, if you looked at the GLC 250, of course. the interior was much better than getting a Q5. Yeah. But the new Q5, my guys, your guy in Rambo, the interior has taken a new direction. There's a lot of aluminium being used. Of course, aluminium comes with the modernity. Yeah. It's a little bit more modern. Mm. If you're going for the B9, I advise you go for the aluminium finish on the dash over the wood. Over the wood trims, yeah. I've, I've met a few B9s with the wood trim. I didn't mm, like it, man. Yeah. But the aluminium looks excellent. Yeah. And because of the looks, mm-hmm. B9 is going to sell. The, yeah. the, watch out for the A5. Eh? Yeah. A5, A5 is A5. going to give the C200 a run for its money. Run for its money. Uh, get, get an A5 any day over C200. A5 US. B9, Hyogari Eco Heavy. Yeah. Unless you're a diehard Mercedes fan. And by the way, there are few, eh? Yeah, the few. If I've been in, I've only seen like I don't think they are they are beyond five units so, so far. Then you mean me Yeah. Uh they are very few in the country. Mm-hmm. So if you get an A five B nine, you are among the very few Kenyans that have it. Q five. Yeah. Q five B nine is amazing. What was it? It's amazing. I've yeah. I've come across four so far. Mm-hmm. White, two black, one uh, grey. They look amazing. We have one blue. Oof. It's what's the color? Is it maritime? but it's a blue that is borderline deep blue a touches of purple you guys yeah Watch january it. january 8th yeah. apple yeah it's a coming we have a b9 q5 coming yeah, q7 Kujieni. Yeah, oh q5, yeah. q5 yeah, not q7 yeah. we have one coming you're getting in normal mkujie yeah yeah, keeping the conversation uh, up or two for the Volkswagen family, mm-hmm. I think guys should pay attention to the Passat GTE. Mm, yeah. Passat GTE in normal. But because because of the the, the fuel yeah. prices, eh? mm-hmm. GTE is a valid option, by the way. Yeah, considering it's a plug-in hybrid. Correct. Yeah. Range, you know, 40 kilometers on, uh, electric, power on electric power alone. Yeah. So bila bila mafuta kwa engine this car can do 40 km. Yeah, so Kama unaishi Kitengela, eh hey, pole. Hiyo ni one trip. Enda <laughs> job charge gari kasimu. Oh bebe power bank. Wewe utaini unua mafuta. Oh bebe power bank ndio urudi nyuma. Ama unua mafuta. Ama unua tu mafuta. But yeah. if you live in Langata, this is a car you can play around with the electric power. Yeah, ni Langata na fanya kazi hapa hili. Unaingia town hapa hill, unarudi nyumbani. Na mbona tunaangalia Langata sana? So, ngaleata Karen. Kama unaishi Karen, hapo you. you can commute electric power yeah. bila kutumia mafuta. True. So, you can uh, escape the the ma- the matrix. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what you're doing. We might get cancelled. Eh? But get cancelled. Ah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, the Passat GTE, mm. watch out for that car. It's pretty. Back to the BMWs. Yeah. X1. Mm. Comes both in uh, 1.5 and 2 liters yeah. engines, huh? That car will sell well because first the 1.5 is quite economical. Yeah. So we expect people not to to feel a lot of weight on the pocket to key you can you can dash your gary. Mm-hmm. Now the, the other reason I think it will sell well, yeah. it's because of the design. The design has really changed to the better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Not not a lot of car manufacturers get it wrong when they're yeah. facelifting a car, mm-hmm. but X1 just got it. It has this look that for amateurs, they might think it's an X3, X3. but it's an X1. X3. So, nikama X1 ili, ili dungwa sindano yaka upepo, yeah. ika... Walipuliza. Walipuliza X1, yeah. ikafura kidogo, looks very nice. Yeah. Uh, more space, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, better looks. Yeah. 
Gary Kofiti, me, me yeah. I think that car is going to say, end the pricing. And the pricing, of course. That car is selling say, at around how much? 3.1? 3.1, 3.2. Yeah. So it's such a good uh, price point for the size. Yeah, for the size it comes with. Mm. Yeah. Another car I think uh, is going to do very well. Mm-hmm. It's Miss, uh, Mitsubishi Outlander. Yeah. The plug-in hybrid. Of course. Yeah, it, of course, for the same reasons as the Passati GTE. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, uh, it's... Uh, it's not a full size SUV, but it's an SUV. Mm. Uh, offers good space, practicality, and if it can save a few shillings up a quille on fuel, why not using electric power? By the way, did you know it's a seven seater? You can get a seven seater. Yeah, seven seater variants. Mm. So yeah, you could carry your whole family. Your whole family, family for free. Adina, Adina for free. Boats. Okay, token suta utanini. Token suta bid you umelipa. Lakini, by the way, yeah. whichever way, we, even if you get electric in this country, <laughs> electricity is going over the roof. <laughs> okay, I'm walking. Okay, hybrid in as a idea. Around him to do something. Why watcha? But anyway, if we check the cost difference, eh, uh, an electric. A plug-in hybrid is significantly cheaper than yeah, using than, uh, the conventional engines. Yeah. So yeah, Outlander, Outlander, you know, mm-hmm. it's a sell. It's a sell yeah. because of fuel. Yeah. Turn the Volkswagen. True. Tiguan. Yeah. Tiguan. That's eh, man, that the 2017 pretty. Tiguan. That car is beautiful, my yeah. guys. That car yeah. is beautiful, and especially the R line. The R line. Don't go for the normal, normal shape uh, Tiguan. And R line, pick it in white. Pick it in white because it has these black accents, okay? Yeah. Like the grill, the bumper has black these black accents. pieces, yeah. even the rear bumper. The very last piece, like what you'd call the diffuser, is piano black. Yeah. Man, that thing looks amazing. That thing looks amazing. 19-inch wheels? Yeah, 19, uh, with option to upgrade into 20. Yeah, yeah that's so a beautiful it car. It looks appealing. 1.4 liter engine? Yeah, or the 2000. Next to the Audi Q5, I think it's the most beautiful uh compact SUV coming in next year correct yeah and and he one eh? mm-hmm. the 1400 that engine is super economical those yeah. engines come with a uh, two-cylinder mode yeah so when you're cruising in highway speeds mm-hmm. and you're not revving yeah you're off the accelerator the pedal yeah. it switches off two, two cylinders. cylinders and you're left driving in two imagine you're driving an suv that has turned off two cylinders that thing is economical, man. 150 yeah. horses. Yeah. So it's fairly right. powered, not very powerful, not very but fairly powerful. powered. But you want some power? 2000. 2000 cc. Mm. It, it has some good pull. So Tiguan, watch out for that. Uh, you're going to get Yeah. I'm excited about the Volvo XC60. XC60. Especially from 2017. Where? They're going to look. It's, it's a beautiful car. Kabisa. Yeah. Kabisa. Uh, well, okay, well, fine. I said Tiguan is beautiful next to the Q5. I think I want to, I want to take that back. <laughs> let me let me stick to after. Okay, well, sitting on number one, Q5 and XC and XC60 for me. Correct. XC60 is XC60 is good. Yeah, it's very good. I mm. I think it's a car I would personally vouch for. Yeah, and ask people to go for. If you're looking for a crossover SUV, and uh, th- Pricing, I'm, I'm yet to get the exact figure on this new shape, but yeah. it will be high threes, low fours. Yeah. Or possibly high threes, yeah. low fours. Yeah, pricing to, to, to more like it, to have a cross screen. Yeah, just angalian ya po, ni wapi chini, whichever. Yeah, hapo, hapo. Somewhere hapo, but yeah. uh, the, the pricing is good, and the value you get for that car is crazy, man. Yeah. XC60, safety is top notch. Of course. Speed is very good. Yeah. Comfort is excellent. Sound system on Volvos, we know they do an excellent job. True. You can get it with, um, they can come with a T5 option or the T4. Mm-hmm. And again, because the XC60 has been selling, it's yeah. not new to our mechanics. Yeah, it's been so selling. it's an engine that is has proved to be reliable over time. Yeah. I've not had a lot of Volvo issues. Mm-hmm. Of course, every car will have issues here and there, mm-hmm. but that's a reliable car. That's a good looking car. Very safe car. Yeah. Psh, sweet spot, man. Yeah. Now, nah, of ah. course, there's a Toyota. Of course, of course, we have to talk about Toyotas again. Yeah. Prado. Prado. It's We're expecting the Prado to sell. Yeah. Yeah, it was a poor. It was a poor. For the reasons. Yeah, uh, for the reasons. And then again, the new shapes will become more more popular. More popular, yeah. Because of course, crossing over to 2017, duty will drop a little we'll bit. Drop, uh, yeah. So people will start. And you see, the new shape began from. You can get the new shape. 2018? No, no, no. Late 2017. The 2017. new shape began in um, 
September 2017. 2017. So we can start seeing a few new shapes yeah. with the duty of the old shape. The old shape. So expect oh. to see the new shape Prados a lot more. A lot more. So the new shape Prados will become more frequent yeah. at a much lower price. Yeah. So uh, guys, expect to see the Prados. If you were to pick one car out of the cars coming in in 2024, which one would you go with? Allow me to pick two. All right. Let's see what two are coming in. The Q5 uh -huh. B9 mm -hmm. and the XC60. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, the richest cars coming in next year. Yeah, like ni mfuko kikufui, kikufinja kidogo. And a fev outlander. Yeah, outlander. It will save you a lot on fuel. Yeah. Or if you want the, the, the German budgets as well, mm -hmm. Atien. Yeah. Or even XC40. Oh, not the Atien, sorry. The the Passat GTE. Hey. And Passat GTE, GTE. Of course. If you want to save on fuel, Passat GTE. That car, by the way, guys. Mm. Yogari. Yogari. Watch, mm. Watch out for that yeah. car. Guys, that, that has been our conversation on uh, vehicles that really sold well in 2023. And what we are looking at in 2024. Um, stay tuned. We'll be bringing so much more content. Conversational content. That is not necessarily a car review like we have been doing. So, stay tuned. We'll be giving you stories that you request for. And by the way, si muende hapo kwa comments mseme the next conversation unataka kusikia. Unataka tuongelee nini? Mm. By the way, unaona nikawa naweza uliza kitu kwa gani? Ugliest car, cars in the, in the market today? BMWs. Hey bro. The latest BMW. The latest ones. Eh, yeah. hey, utasema aje. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> the latest BMWs kuna venye zina car funny. Yeah. Um, uh, we can talk about the ugliest ones that have been in Kenya. Okay. Hey, mimi, mimi tuna chikia hii. Unanile una sienta mze? <laughs> hey, mazee spendi kwa nani. Inaka ni uza njuku. <laughs> a juke na a juke na a chana. Everybody story. hates a juke. Hey, everyone. Everyone <laughs> but they hates the juke. So if you have something you'd like us to talk about and inform you about, yeah. just comment up chini. We will see your comment. We will respond. We will create a video for it. Yeah. If there's a car you want to see a review on, we are going to bring you the best reviews mm -hmm. that you've ever seen in this country and in Africa. Yep, stay I'm, I'm, not here. I'm not here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been nice talking to you, talking with you. Uh, looking forward to the next conversation. See you guys. Mji nice. Mji nice. Oh, na magari.